Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. Uh, today we're working on a Dell laptop and we're dealing with the problem of you see your computer turning on uh, but the screen stays black. Um, you hear the, the clicking inside, you see your lights up, uh, you may hear the fan kick in but your screen is staying totally black or it looks illuminated but you're not seeing anything display or sometimes it's so dim that you can barely make anything out. So we're gonna classify all of those as a black screen fix for this video. Uh, keep in mind, if your computer is not turning on, uh, you're not hearing your fan engage, you're not hearing the motherboard clicks. If your computer is not turning on, that's a, a different fix. That's a no power fix. Uh, look at video number one in the description below. Also, if your computer turns on but starts rebooting, uh, turning itself off and on over and over, that's a boot loop fix. That's video number two in the description. Uh, so we're doing a black screen fix where the computer starts, screen stays black. If you have any questions, look at the frequently asked questions below in the description. It'll save you some time. And if you get lost or anything and, and you can't see your question there, uh, leave me a comment. I'll get back to you a couple times a day at least. So what we're gonna do to diagnose this problem is we're gonna start looking at the cheapest fixes or the easiest fixes first, and then after we troubleshoot them and rule them out, we're gonna move on to the next step. Uh, so the first thing, the most common thing that I have found that causes this is a bad RAM issue. So let's go in and, and, and check out how to, how to access your RAM. Now in this computer, before you get into your computer based on what model you have, uh, YouTube a disassembly or a teardown video for your specific model. That'll show you how to get into it, how to access it, and you'll lower the risk of breaking anything or getting frustrated or anything like that. So look up that disassembly video and then get into your computer as I'm doing now. So in this model, I gotta take up my keyboard. So I'm gonna open that here. Um, there were a couple screws in here that I needed to remove, which I've already done. And then under the computer, um, hopefully you'll have some access doors or some access panels that give you easy access to your RAM. If you don't, like in my case, you'll have to take off the entire bottom case. Um, so I've undone all my screws. I've undone some screws under the battery. I've undone some screws here. So again, reference that teardown video for your model so you know how to get in here. Uh, but. After I get into the computer, let me zoom in a little bit for you. You, you can see the RAM that, that we're going to be messing with right now. So here's your RAM. Most computers that uh, you'll have will have two RAM ports. Some will only have one RAM port. Some will have none. If your computer has no RAM ports, that means that it's integrated into your motherboard and you cannot perform this test. Um, so in that situation, if your RAM has gone bad, you need to replace your motherboard but we don't know that at this point. That comes later in, in the video. So just fast forward through this and continue on with the video. If you do have changeable RAM like we have here, we're gonna perform a test right now to see if your RAM is bad. So the first thing you wanna do is reseat your RAM, which involves taking it out and then plugging it in again, making sure that it's secure. So the way that RAM is held in, it's held in by two spring-loaded arms. Pull those arms apart and the RAM pops up and then you can slide it out. Uh, leave that RAM stick out and try turning your computer on. If your computer turns on and, and your screen works, it means this RAM stick is bad and you need to replace it. Uh, if you need help in how to replace your RAM, look below in the description uh, to video number three. That'll show you how to buy the right RAM for your computer since not all RAM fits all computers. If your computer does not turn on at this point, put this RAM stick back in, make sure it's secure, and then take the other one out, try your computer again. Again, same thing, if your screen works, it means this RAM stick is bad and you need to replace it. If it doesn't work, pop your RAM stick back in uh, and press it down to secure it. If you only have one RAM stick here, then you would need to purchase another stick of RAM to perform that test, obviously, since you would need one that you know is good. If that's not your issue and you've performed the RAM test and your screen still isn't working, then the next thing we're going to move on to is your CMOS battery. That's this component right here. It looks like a large watch battery. These are fairly inexpensive, usually under a dollar, especially if you buy them in, in a pack of more than one. But this, uh, you need to swap that out, uh, change that. The way you would replace this one is it's spring-loaded here and spring-loaded underneath. So press it in slightly 
head up and it should come right out. Be very careful when you do that. If you push too hard, you can break this component here in the port. And if you do break that, then the CMOS battery will not be secure in the motherboard. Um, so be very careful not to break that. You put your new one in by just sliding it in and pressing down. Uh, sometimes if you can't find one that looks like this, your CMOS battery may be wrapped in black electrical tape and it may plug into the motherboard on a port that looks like this. So those are the two uh, different presentations of, of CMOS batteries that you can see. If you've done the RAM test and you've done the CMOS battery test and it doesn't appear to be either one of those, then most likely you're looking at an issue with your LCD cable or your LCD itself. Now the way you would test for that is shut your computer back up and open it up. Oop. Put my keyboard in there. Now what you would do here is you would take your computer and you would hook it up to an external monitor. Let me zoom out for you. I have an external monitor right here. Okay, so you would hook it up to an external monitor. Sometimes you would use a VGA cable. Uh, let me shut the computer and show you what a VGA cable looks like if I have one which I do not. So a VGA cable on my monitor would look like this. This blue port right there. Sometimes you've seen these um, in, in old TVs. So that's a VGA port. So you can hook your computer up to an external monitor by the VGA port, or in a lot of newer computers you have the HDMI cable here. And that plugs into your motherboard right there with the HDMI. So you plug your computer into the external monitor, and see if the external monitor displays your desktop or your loading screen or, or whatever point you're at. If the, if the external monitor displays it perfectly, then what that means is your computer is putting out the correct signal, but it's not getting to your LCD. In that case, replace your LCD cable first. It's the cheapest component, it's the easiest to replace. Um, see if that works. And again, reference your disassembly video to see how to access that particular component. Uh, if you replace that and it doesn't help your situation, then in that case, consider replacing your LCD it, itself. Uh, that's probably the more expensive repair that, that it could be. Um, and it's also a, a, a harder repair. You, you risk breaking the new one, putting it in. So that's where we kind of save that for last. Now keep in mind also that some computers do not like projecting to an external monitor, um, especially when it knows it has its own LCD to project to. So just because you've tried this and you're not seeing anything on, on your screen, don't trust the test is over. To make it for sure, go into your computer and unplug your LCD cable from your motherboard so that it doesn't have that option. Then plug in your HDMI or your VGA and try to display to your uh, external monitor. At that point, if your computer is still not displaying, then it's not an issue with your LCD, it's an issue with your motherboard. At that point, you would want to replace the motherboard. Uh, so those are all the different reasons why you have that problem. The computer turns on, screen is black. We took you through the RAM diagnostic first, then your CMOS battery replacement. Then we took you to the LCD and the LCD cable using the uh, external monitor. And if you couldn't get anything to display on here, even after unplugging your LCD cable, then we figured out that it's your motherboard is not actually sending out a signal. Uh, so at that point, you would replace your, your motherboard it, if it's financially a good idea to do that. So uh, again, if you have any questions or comments, if you got lost at any point in this video, or if, if something acted in a way that you didn't anticipate that makes you question whether or not that test is, is working properly, leave us a comment. Uh, let me know and we'll get back to you. So if this was helpful, please like and share. Uh, if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.